podcasting is a huge, 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 huge thing that you need to be paying attention to. How many of you w listen to podcasts now on a fairly regular basis? Okay. When I asked that question a couple of years ago, there was like one hand that went up, right? We've just seen this constant rise in podcasts. The reason being it's so passive, right? So literally you can consume it at the gym, you can consume it while you're sitting there working, you can consume it at any time, where if you're going to watch video, which has been the dominant force, I've actually got to stop, I've got to watch what I'm doing, right? Podcast isn't that way. And as we move more and more into a voice environment, you are gonna see this constantly evolve. This is the next text message marketing. This is the next Facebook. This is everything, right? Podcasts will literally take over and be the number one form of communication in the next five years. I will bet my life on it, right? Because it's just so passive. So as Alexa and all these, as Alexa becomes in everyone's home, not just a lot of people's home, and as apps are built on top of Alexa that make it really easy to use, you're gonna see the consumption of podcasts go so high. Now, the misconception for a lot of people is like, I've gotta sit down and I gotta do this long podcast. No, you don't. It could be a two minute rant. It could be a two minute client testimonial. It could be a 20 minute interview with a local business owner. It could be anything you want it to be, but it's just you in voice form. And the reason that's important, because the more comfortable and the better you can get at communicating in a voice environment, the better off you'll be. I understand if you're a super attractive person and you're like, oh, I'm an Instagram model and that's great. No one's gonna care when all they're doing is walking into their kitchen and going, hey, Alexa, play this, right? Because they're not watching. The visualization side of it's going to continuously go down. So video will always be there, right? There's all, YouTube's always gonna be there as, as long as I'm alive, I'm sure, but the consumption of it is gonna continue to go down compared to podcasting, right? So, Anchor is the app we use for it. There is a mobile app, you just download it to your phone. Um, it literally looks just like this. This is their website version. With Anchor, you can literally, I could start a podcast at this very moment. I open up Anchor, I hit record, I start talking, podcast is done, you name it, you title it, you can add keywords to it, and you hit done. What Anchor does on your behalf for free is they then distribute it to every major podcast station that people listen to across the world. So. Our podcast currently, the BE3 podcast, is actually consumed more in France and the UK than it is here in the United States. I never once promoted or marketed anything to the UK or France, right? What they do is they put it out to Apple Podcasts, Google Play, they push it out to um, all of them, iHeartRadio. So literally, if someone prefers iHeartRadio, if you go into the iHeartRadio app right now and search BE3 podcast, you'll find it. I didn't do a single thing. All we do is post our audio here and they distribute it on your behalf. Take advantage, right now this is free. They just got bought for $200 million, so I doubt it's gonna be free forever, but it is free for now, right? So take advantage of it. But if you like to talk, you should start a podcast. And if you don't like to talk, you should learn to like to talk because it will play out in the future, okay? They'll also do things where if your video is under two minutes, they'll actually transcribe your video for you and create a visualization of that video that you can then post on Facebook that's got cool interactions going on in the background with, your, with a complete transcription of your audio as well. So it does give you a video that you can go post. So I highly suggest downloading Anchor. Um, if you do prefer to have like a co-host and you don't have one that you wanna use, they actually have a a part of the app when you download it, you can literally say real estate, they will find somebody else that also wants to talk about real estate and they will pair you guys together and you can podcast remotely together, right? And it'll push it all together and then distribute it the same way. So, highly, highly, highly yeah. suggest looking yeah. into Anchor. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Talk, talk in reality, you have not seen me in action.